kindled a fire in my anger which shall burn forever all right do you understand that so did you think our ancestors knew this land before we got over here we got all yeah. this we knew the land no. we didn't so he no, said no. he's gonna we, he's gonna have us cause us to serve our enemies in the land we know it's not did not that happen to us when, when our ancestors came over here? Mm -hmm. We're serving people that don't have no love for us, and they still don't have no love for us, do they? They kill us and shoot us down today. Everything that everything that happens to us today is in this Bible, y'all. Yeah. This Bible is a history book to you. It's not even a religious book at all, but it's a book for us. Go ahead. Deuteronomy 28 and 37. Uh huh. Thou shalt become an astonishment. You should become an astonishment. Go a ahead. Proverb. A proverb. And a byword. Among all American. nations where the Lord shall Nigga, no matter where you go, you get caught that same thing. Right here. You hear me? God is talking, telling, telling Moses, telling the children of Israel, oh, this is going to happen to them. Give me um, Lamentations chapter 4, verse 17. Look what the Bible's saying, right? When y'all walk in the store, they following y'all around, huh? Look what the Bible or, 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 or when you get in the car, the police follow. Look what the Bible is saying. Lamentations chapter 4, verse 17. Yes, sir. That's for us. As for us, go our ahead. Our eyes are yet failed for our vain help. And our watching, we have watched for a nation that cannot save us. Through all that civil rights marching and all that stuff, do you know we still three-fifths of a man to them? It takes three of our votes to equal one of their votes? Mm -hmm. Look what the Bible. They, they hunt our steps. They what? They hunt our steps. They racial profile us. That we cannot go in our streets. When we go on our streets, it's, it's dangerous. So what happens when the cops get behind you? No assurance of life. What happens when the cops get behind you? Are we guaranteed to get out of line? Do you know that's in the Bible? Do you remember the 20, 28 verse 60? Four. Uh huh. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people, uh -huh. from one end of the earth even to the other. Because we got scattered to the four corners. So when Jesus said, uh, when God said, "Go preach to the four corners," He's talking about go reach to His people, not everybody. Y'all didn't know that. Watch. And there thou shalt serve other gods. Uh huh. Which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. Uh huh. Even wood and that stone. wooden cross or that stone, that Muslim stone, they walk around. We don't know that. The Bible is not a is not a religious book. It's a history book. It's a book of laws and commandments that we must return back to. Go ahead. Among these nations shalt thou find no ease. Man, because we barely make it, huh? We, we shredding water. We pay, get, get some money we pay in, and we back shredding water. Go ahead. Each other, so like foot, have rest. We ain't got no rest. Go ahead. But the Lord shall give thee there a trembling heart. Because when the cops get behind us, we kind of scared. Yo, 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 you listen. In the failing of eyes. Man. In the sorrow of mind. Yes, sir. And thy life shall hang in doubt before thee. And thou shalt fear day and night. And shall have none assurance of Because if we do everything that the cops tell us to do, and we're not messing with anybody, we should have we should be able to come okay. out and go back home. Mm -hmm. But it's not guaranteed. So what happened to the cops when they came? <laughs> do you know that's in the Bible? It don't happen to everybody, but it do happen to us. Like the Bible. Bible. 11 verse 5. Uh -huh. Whose possessor slave Do what? Whose possessor slave Because wherever we came from, we haven't went back from our ancestors, right? Go ahead. And hold themselves not guilty. No, they're guilty. And hold themselves not guilty. Woo! Do y'all hear that? This is the Holy Bible, King James 1611. Do you hear what I'm saying? 68. Huh? Huh? 68. Give me, give me Amos chapter 3, verse 1, right? I want you to under, I want you to understand something. God said he loves who he chastises. Look what the Bible Amos said. chapter 3, verse 1. Uh -huh. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children no, of Israel. No, he talked against the whole world. O children of Israel. O against the white people. O children of Israel. Against the Japanese. O children of Israel. O children of Israel. Children of Israel. Against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, Southern kingdom and northern kingdom. You, you only have I known. He knows everybody. You only have I known. Of all the families of the earth, uh -huh. therefore I will punish you for all your iniquity. Because our forefathers went away from the laws and commandments, we got sold into slavery. Give me that in, in um, Lamentations 5, verse 7. Because our forefathers left the laws and commandments, we got sold into slavery. We live in the ghetto. We locked up in prison house. We got a lot of one-parent households. It's all in the Bible. Every, every curse that happened, but we're going to go to there. What, what, what are we going to do? Lamentations, Lamentations chapter 5, verse 7. 
Genesis chapter 5, verse 7. Uh -huh. Our fathers have sinned. Our fathers have sinned and are not. Because they're dead and gone now, right? And we have born very nicked. Because they did that. We got sold into slavery. We get killed by the cops. Listen, servants have ruled over us. Servants have ruled over us. God is saying servants are ruling over you guys right now. The world was made for you, but you don't understand. There is none that does deliver us out of their hand. There is none that delivers us out of their hand. Now give me um Deuteronomy um Deuteronomy 28 verse 54, right? Deuteronomy 28 verse 54. Uh-huh. So that the man that is tender among you, uh -huh. very delicate, yeah. his eye shall be evil toward his brother. Black on black crime, black on masculine crime. Do we got an evil eye towards each other? Look what the Bible was saying. Listen, I want you to listen. And towards the wife of his bosom. And towards his wife. Listen. And towards the remnant of his children. Which what? Which he shall leave. Do read that again, they hear that. And toward the remnant of his children, which he shall leave. Man, we got a lot of one yeah, parent yeah, house. Yeah, this is curses. Now go 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 to Deuteronomy 28, 15. Because God told Moses to tell the children of Israel something. You want to go to 1 1 first? There we go. Deuteronomy 1 verse 1. Yes, sir. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel on the side of Jordan in the wilderness. He's talking to the children of Israel. These are curses. Some now we'll go to 15, right? Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. Uh -huh. come to pass. If if that that means not, it's gonna happen. Go ahead. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, uh -huh. to observe to do all his commandments. No ten commandments. All his commandments. No twelve. All his commandments. There's over six hundred and thirteen laws and commandments, you guys. Go ahead. And his statutes was I command you today uh -huh. that all these curses. No, all these blessings. All these curses. All these curses go ahead. Come upon thee. Yes, sir. And overtake thee. Yes, sir. Curse shall thou be in the city, us as the people. Are we in the richest part of the city or are we in the ghetto? Yeah. Are we? Is that a curse or a blessing? Listen what the Bible and is saying. Curse shall be in the field. So when we're in the slave fields, is that a curse or a blessing? Give me 49, please. Listen what the Bible was saying. Verse 40, this, listen, God is talking to the, telling Moses to tell the children of Israel this. How do we get over here as the people? On slave ships, right? I'm gonna show you that in the Bible, God said this was gonna happen to us. Go the Lord ahead. shall bring the nation against thee from far. From where? From the end of the earth. Uh huh. As swift as the eagle flies. As swift as what? The eagle flies. What's America symbol? That, listen what the Bible is saying. A nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. Uh huh. A nation of fierce countenance. Uh huh. Shall not regard the person of old. Yes, sir. Nor shall favor to the young. As long as you can work, they had to slave field. They used to feed our babies. Alligators, alligator bait. I don't know if y'all know that. And to this day, they putting our putting our kids in hand. Aren't they? Old people getting slammed on the ground. Yeah. Come on now. Give me, um, give me, go ahead and get, let's get 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Well, how do we get here? Listen, Egypt is just another word for abundance, but we're going to prove that. Exodus chapter 20, verse 2. Uh -huh. I am the Lord thy God. He said, he is the Lord your God. He's being very personal. Go ahead. Which I brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Out of the land of Egypt. Out of the house of bondage. So when you see Egypt, he's talking about slavery. How do we get over here? And slavery. The Lord shall bring thee into slavery again with ships. Wow. By the way we are speaking to thee, uh -huh. thou shalt see it no more again. Have we left here? We haven't seen our homeland. Look what the Bible was saying. And there you should be sold unto your enemies. To your what? Oh, to your wow. enemies. To your friends. Unto your enemies. That we're going to be sold to your God is saying you guys got enemies. Look what the Bible For says. For bondmen and bond women. For slave men and slave women. And no man shall buy and you. No one should, and no one should redeem you. Because for sure we got sold. Until your Yahweh side come back. God, but I want you to understand. You got things that God is still calling my enemies. Christian, no, huh? Look what the Bible. This is a, Luke. This is a future prophecy. This is Luke yeah. chapter one, verse sixty-eight. Future prophecy. Let's be the Lord God of Israel. God of who? God of Israel. Israel. No, God of the world. God of Israel. Israel. God of Israel. He's everybody. For he had visited and redeemed his people. No, he visited everybody. His people. He redeemed. He had raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. Talking about who the world called Jesus Christ. His name is Yahushua. I just spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which I've been since the world began. Yes, sir. That we should be saved from our enemies. Saved from who? Our enemies. We got sold to who? Our enemies. We're going to get delivered from who? Our enemies. Wow. And from the hand of all that hate us. Don't we feel hated? Y'all hear me? Let, let me go to Job chapter Because y'all think, because we've been taught in his Christianity that he, he's the God of everybody. But in Job chapter 2, 27, it says something way different. Look what Job chapter 2, verse 2, he says, Go ahead. He shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. Mr. who? I am in the midst of Israel. I am in the midst of Israel. And I am the Lord your God. He's the Lord your God. And none else. And, and my people shall never be ashamed. And none else. He's not even everybody's God. What's going on with you, my man? Flash, man. Oh, what you, 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 what you, I'll let you right quick. What, you got it? Yeah. Well, wait, wait, wait. I'm, I'm trying to witness and then I'll, I'll highlight you. Second edge of something. Let me get this. 
Speak for it. Listen, listen, God is, you know, the world is made for you. We proved that in meditation, right? Yeah. That your servants rule over you. I'm going to go because they took books out of the Bible. So we got the King James Version 1611 with the Apocrypha, the original one that got translated. Go ahead. Second, I just have the six for 54. Uh -huh. And after these, Adam also, whom thou made is Lord of all thy creatures, uh -huh. of him come we all. Because we all come from Adam, right? Y'all can agree? Y'all yeah. come from Adam? Look what the Bible says. And the people also whom thou hast chosen. Who did he choose? He chose Israel. God loves who he chastised. How we get chastised? We got sold in slavery. We still in the hand of our enemies. We're getting killed. We're getting beat. But he's going to deliver us. Listen, go All ahead. All have I spoken before thee, O Lord. Yes, sir. Because thou made us the world for our sake. No, for everybody's sake. For our sake. Wow, come as on. for the other people, as for who? The other people, as for all the other nations, which also come of Adam, uh -huh. thou hast said that they are nothing. No, they're equal to us. They are nothing. No, we're the same. They are nothing. He said the same. But be like unto spittle. Be like unto what? But be like unto spittle. Be like unto spittle. <laughs> and as like unto the abundance of them until they drop that falling from a vessel. All of them is like a, I don't know if you ever drop a, like a drop of something. Like, he, the abundance of all these other nations are like a drop to him. And now, O oh Lord, behold, these heathen, these who? These heathen, these other nations, which have ever been reputed as nothing, uh -huh. have begun to be lords over us. Who do we serve? And to devour us. We serve our we, we serve our servants. Thus says the Lord. This is not me saying it. I'm not using my words at all. Joseph this is the nine. Bible. How you been, bro? All right. I like it. Why you get out? <laughs> yes, Joseph, hey, hey, who, 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 do y'all know the color of Jesus first of all? You don't? I don't know. Well, let, 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 let's go to that, and then I'm going to go to another because y'all y'all trying to go. Let's get the color of your hollow shot. Revelation of the 1 verse 1. Uh -huh. The revelation of Jesus Christ. This is the this is the revealing of Jesus Christ. Which God gave it to him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. Uh -huh. So this is so God is showing, giving you a record for who Yahweh Shai looked like, Jesus Christ. Go ahead. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Who has woolly hair? Oh, black people, let's go. As white as snow. It was great mm -hmm. with knowledge. Go ahead. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. He drank wine moderately, and it's also a means for wisdom and understanding. Go and ahead. his feet like a defined brass. What color is brass? It's it, it, it brown. Exactly. As if they burned in a furnace. If you burn anything, what color does it get? Black. And his mouth. <laughs> and his voice of his. So we so so what is the black people known for and Mexicans known for talking loud and being loud? He said his voice is like many waters. He talks with authority, he talks loud. That's us, you guys. Look, let me get this. Now so now understand who who run the world right now? Be honest, don't don't be scared. Why he Look what the words say. Go ahead. Job chapter 9, verse 24. Uh -huh. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covers the faces of the judges thereof. How did he cover Jesus' face? He painted them white, huh? If not, where and who is he? God is being sarcastic. Like, if it wasn't him, who did it? <laughs> you know he bad. <laughs> you, know you know the way the Bible is written. It's black. Yeah, it's all yeah, us, y'all. Yeah. First Maccabees chapter 3, verse 4. Every time y'all see a movie, what do y'all see? Uh, it's when he's saying the Bible white. character, white character. Look what the Bible says. First Maccabees chapter 3, verse 48. Uh -huh. They laid open the book of the law. Because it's not a religious book. It's a book of laws and commandments that we must return back to. Wherein the heathen. With the who? The heathen. The other nations. Go I ahead. I sought to paint the likeness of their enemy. I think this book belongs to you guys. But it's something y'all must return back to. Give, give, give me the hand of that. The, the laws of commandments shown by Kayla. Walk over there, Kayla. Hey, one more. Walk over here. One more. Yeah. Hey, hey, um, yeah. Lessons. Yeah. Hey, what's up? What's up? Lessons. Yeah. 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 Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. So you got to fear God and keep his commandments is, um, it's 613 commandments, but it's like really easy. Like it's like moral laws, basically, but which you already, which you already have inside you. Okay. You go to, um, go to Numbers 15, verse 38. Y'all sisters, brothers, uh, go, go to Numbers 15, verse 38. That's my dad. That's my, my dad. That's my dad right there. <laughs> no, Numbers 15 and 38. Speak to the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generations. This is a, this is a commandment. Uh, uh, and that they put upon the fringe of, of the borders a ribbon of blue, and, they, and it shall be a to you for a fringe, that ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord, and do them. And that ye seek not after your own heart and your own eyes, after which ye used to go a horn, that ye may remember and do all my commandments, and be holy unto your God. Oh, I got another one. Uh, one more. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. One more. It says, For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. We are holy people, we separate. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee 
to be a special people unto himself. He chose us above all other nations. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. There you go. That's it. He's special. Y'all, hey. y'all, 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 y